feels like Groundhog Day. Kind of feels like I've seen this movie before. Ironically, it's actually February 2nd, Groundhog Day, as I record this, but that's neither here nor there at this moment. Look, I'm talking to colleagues, I'm talking to clients, I'm talking to other sales leaders that I'm working with, and I'm hearing the same refrain that reps are failing to take responsibility for creating opportunities in their pipeline. And if there are no opportunities in the pipeline, then there's nothing to get advanced and there's no revenue at the end of the day. And what reps love to do is stand up, throw their hands in the air and say, what? I, I don't know. But you do know. You do know. You have your target lists. You have your messaging. You have the tools to reach them and you know what your goals are by this time of year. You have to do the work. You have to do your job. And I know it's easier to point fingers at other people in other departments rather than to look in the mirror and accept responsibility for what needs to happen. But at its core, you have to remember this. You are judged by the results that you create and those results look an awful lot like revenue at the end of the quarter, at the end of the year. And if you're not bringing in that revenue, you can't look at somebody else and say, oh, well, it was their fault, it wasn't mine. That's a problem. And another problem is that you've been told by a lot of people that you don't need to do this. Oh, there's someone else who's gonna handle that. Marketing's supposed to bring me leads that I can just close. I have an SDR who's scheduling appointments for me. Or I'm really strong on LinkedIn. Have you seen how many followers I have? How many connections I have? I've got an inbound strategy that I'm trying to, to bring up to speed. All of that is well and good, but what is the result you're creating right now? You cannot get back into this situation where you're just looking at everyone else to do the stuff so you can be some kind of specialist. You are trusting your livelihood, your career, and your family's well-being to other people. And I want you to think about that. Because at the end of the day, if you're not doing your job, if you're not showing your results, or at least not showing a ramp up that is going to predictably lead to those results, you're in trouble. And you want to leave that to somebody else? Let's think about that in a different way. There are a lot of you who are just waiting to be told. Yeah, okay, I have my messaging. I have my call list. I have this sales engagement tool, which is really cool and maybe a little tricky, but I, I, I really like it. And I know what needs to be done, but I'm just waiting to be told the right way. I don't want to screw up. I'm actually so afraid of screwing up that I'm afraid to even try. And those expectations are out of whack. There's also a ton of plausible deniability in that. You're letting yourself off the hook. Because if you wait to be told exactly what I do or what to do, and then you do it and it doesn't work out, it's like, oh, well, it's not my fault. All I did was what you told me, boss. That's not taking responsibility either. So you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be blunt in the mirror when you look and you have to recognize that it's up to you to create the result. And it's up to you to contribute to an environment on your team where that result can be achieved. And that's where I wanna come back to the leaders here in terms of creating an environment. A big portion of that environment is people knowing that you're gonna hold them accountable to their jobs because Lack of accountability breeds a ton of sickness in sales teams because when one person knows they're not going to be held accountable by either their leader or their teammates, they're, they're really quick to just slough off their responsibility. And then one person sees another person, another person sees them, and now all of a sudden everybody's like, well, hey, if nobody's calling us on this, I'm just going to mail it in too. Why would I be the only one that's working hard? So look, leaders, if you have a lack of performance on your team, well then maybe you can be coached up, maybe they can be coached up, maybe there's some training, uh, maybe there are some things that need to be done to, you know, to enable these sales reps to be able to perform better. But if the issue isn't performance as much as it's just activity, dude, it's you. So you have to start by reminding people of what their job is. You have to remind them as well that they have everything they need to do that job and then you need to make sure that they do it. And everybody on the team has a responsibility that they cannot just slough off on somebody else, especially their colleagues. There's just too much at stake. You can do better, now you just gotta do it.